In December 2018, after traveling for two years and 101 days, and over 1.2 billion miles, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at its target, near-Earth asteroid Bennu. Welcome to the channel of Cloud Boss. If you're interested in space exploration, subscribe and leave gravity behind and join me as I help foster the next generation of explorers. OSIRIS-REx is the first mission to explore this primitive remnant from the origins of the solar system, designed to study the asteroid and return a sample to Earth. Bennu is a dark, diminutive world, roughly the height of a skyscraper, and now, the smallest body to be orbited by a spacecraft. Prior to arrival, it was known to have low thermal inertia, a characteristic of fine grain materials like sand. An infrared spectrometer on OSIRIS-REx confirmed this property, leaving scientists to expect a predominantly smooth surface. But the first close-up views of Bennu delivered a major surprise, in exquisite details the mission's cameras revealed an unrelenting rockscape, dominated by boulders. By combining these images from OSIRIS-REx, with its laser's altimetry data, we can take a tour of Bennu's remarkable terrain. The first stop is Simurgh Saxum, this prominent boulder defines the asteroid prime meridian and serves as the basis of its coordinate system. In Persian mythology, the Simurgh is a large and benevolent bird, and the possessor of all knowledge. Saxum is Latin for stone. To the northeast lies the largest boulder of Genu, measuring over 300 feet in length, Rock Saxum is a colossus, longer than a football field. It is also rich in a type of iron oxide called magnetite, which was used by mariners as an early form of magnetic compass. In Arab folklore, the rock is an enormous bird of prey that can clasp elephants in its talons, as well as stranded sailors like the hero Sinbad. Continuing northeast, over the equatorial ridge, we arrived at Gargoyle Saxum. This striking boulder is among the darkest on Bennu, though it clutches a much brighter rock that is about the size of a person. In medieval legends, gargoyles are dragon-like, winged monsters that can breathe fire and guard cathedrals from evil spirits. Our next destination takes us far to the east. At the northern end of a small crater lies Osipete Saxum, a comparatively bright boulder measuring about 33 feet in diameter. Osipete Saxum is located near one of three sites where Bennu ejected small particles into space, in early 2019, displaying its dynamic and evolving nature. In Greek mythology, Osipete is one of the three harpies, the half-maiden, half-bird personifications of storm winds, who would carry evildoers away from the earth. In the creation stories of ancient Egypt, the universe began as a formless, endless expanse of water. From this primordial sea, arose the primordial mound, Benben. It was upon the rock that the god Adam settled, in the form of a Bennu bird, and sent forth the call that shaped creation. The story of Benben harkens to the mounds of fertile silt that once emerged from the receding flood waters of the Nile, and it provides a fitting namesake for the tallest boulder on Bennu. Protruding by over 70 feet, Benben's saxum is so tall that it was first detected from Earth. Now we can appreciate this monumental feature in detail using data from OSIRIS-REx. The final stop on our tour is a cluster of exceptionally bright boulders, scattered across the southern hemisphere. They bear the spectral fingerprint of pyroxene, a mineral found in igneous rock, that is unlikely to have formed on Bennu. These boulders most likely originated on the large asteroid Vesta, and were delivered to Bennu's parent body through meteoroid impacts. Although it is small in size, asteroid Bennu has proved to be a fascinating world, abundant in geographical features that have defied our expectations. On October 20, 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected a sample of asteroid Bennu. The event revealed surprising details about Bennu's surface and near subsurface. One second after contact, 
OSIRIS-REx injected Benyu with a pressurized nitrogen gas, causing an explosion of particles and driving loose materials in its sample collector. Nine seconds after contact, thrusters on board OSIRIS-REx halted its descent into Benyu, pushing it away from the asteroid and blasting loose material from the sample site. The spacecraft arm had sunk one half a meter beneath the surface, far deeper than expected, confirming that Bennu's surface is extremely weak. 16 seconds after contact, the arm fully re-emerged from the subsurface. OSIRIS-REx had collected a handful of material and kicked up roughly 6 tons of loose rock. 30 seconds after contact, it shut off its thrusters and drift away from Bennu. OSIRIS-REx will return its sample to Earth in September 2023. Thanks to OSIRIS-REx, we can now explore Bennu, to uncover its composition, its evolution, and its ancient memories from the origins of the solar system. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries in the cosmos on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Clout Boss and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our post.